even know. Let's see. This week on Hollywood Access. Vancouver Lipton, beloved socialite and heiress to the Lipton fortune, has everyone around her worried about her new, concerning behavior. But it isn't what you might think. Spooky, scary, scuttling. Those are some of the words that pop culture critics have been using recently to describe Vancouver's transition from a hot-headed diva to a haunted demon. Today on Hollywood Access, we will be exploring what may be causing Vancouver to go out of control. Right now, we have Charlene Lipton, Vancouver Lipton's mother, here with us to discuss her recent breakoff from her daughter's career. Hi, Charlene. Well, hello. Uh, now, the first question I want to ask is, why have you decided to resign as Vancouver's momager? Oh, she has gone off the deep end. It started last month when I caught her rummaging through our fridge for scraps. I thought it was unusual because usually she just she just asked our butler to pick up Chick-fil-A. But when I caught her, she hissed at me, jumped out the window, and then and then and then scampered away into the night, which I thought was awfully rude. I mean, sure, we've had our spats from time to time. We say a few words that we regret and even throw some tables, but I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't miss the Vanny, I mean Vanny. Um I mean, she's the reason why I'm here talking to you on TV. Uh, you know, I've always wanted to be a star, but I just had to resort to marrying the marrying rich. <laughs> what, what was the question again? I think you've said enough. A tumultuous relationship between mother and daughter is never fun. Vancouver and Charlene's situation may be rocky, but today we were able to have Vancouver clear the air and reveal her side of the story on the show. Vancouver, it's great to have you here on Hollywood Access today. Uh-huh. Online bloggers have coined the term goblin mode when describing your actions as of late. Can you explain why people may say that you've been behaving this way? Maybe I am a goblin. Is that so bad? No, but uh, you've been acting in a way that has been causing concern in the public. Such as? Uh, well, for one, we have footage from an anonymous source of you eating a pot of chili in the Applebee's parking lot. Then you contorted um, what? like a, quote, hot blonde version of The Exorcist. Maybe he should have minded his own business. I see. Also, can you tell us what happened between you and your former manager slash mother, Charlene? I don't want to talk about it. Really? Well, that's a shame, because we happen to have her in the studio with us today. What? Yes, we actually have her in the studio no, with us today. No, you know today. what? This is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, Vanny. I will kill you. What? Oh, really? no. no. Are you, you serious are right now? Are you? That was quite the outburst right? from Vancouver I, I Lipton. We are yeah, still unsure why she has been acting this way. But we have Hollywood psychologist Marcel Applebaum here with us to make some sense of what may be going on. Marcel, we're delighted to have you here today. Yes, indeed. I'm glad to be here as well. So tell me, with all your years of experience working with celebrities like Jennifer Lawrence and Channing Tatum, what do you think of Vancouver's debacle? And have you ever seen something like this before? Yes, indeed. I've seen it before. Her allergies may have come low vibrational as the moon recently shifted into Megatron. Uh, now, I know that you have a book coming out next month. Tell me some about that. Uh, thanks for mentioning it. It's called Reinventing Your Frequencies. It's all about the benefits of Hungarian snake wrapping. And, of course, it's gluten-free. Well, that sounds amazing. I'll have to look out for that in stores. Do you ever know Indeed. the real reason why Vancouver Lipton went goblin mode? Maybe not. But at least now we have more information to the situation at hand. I'm Maxine Starr, and this has been Hollywood Access.